From Tampa Bay streaming news leader, this is ABC Action News. Hello, I'm Vanessa Ariza. Cooler temps are on the way. McKenna King has a look at your forecast in just a moment. But first, here are your ABC Action News headlines. A home invasion turns deadly in Hillsborough County overnight, but it's the suspects who had the tables turned on them. Hillsborough County investigators say two teenagers went into an apartment in the West Chase neighborhood. The homeowner pulled out a gun and shot them. Once he died, the other was taken to a local hospital and is in critical condition. Two other teenagers were waiting outside in a car. They have since been arrested. Detectives say all of the suspects are between the ages of 16 and 17 years old. Hey, we, we, we preach it all the time. Know where your kids are. Make sure they have good contact information in case they do get in trouble or they meet up with people that they're not comfortable with. Make sure we offer them rides home. Um, know that they can pick up their phone and call the sheriff's office or a local law enforcement agency if they have trouble. But know where your kids are and who they're hanging out with. It's very important. The couple in the apartment weren't hurt. Investigators say this was not a random attack, but they don't yet know why that couple was targeted. Detectives say they are cooperating with the investigation. Now to the developing story overseas. President Trump sending a warning to Iran to rethink retaliation. He tweeted this saying if they do, the U.S. will attack 52 Iranian sites. All of this as thousands gathered on the streets of Baghdad for the Iranian general's funeral procession. Qasem Soleimani was killed in a U.S. drone strike Thursday evening. American protesters and some lawmakers fear that this strike could be the start of another war in the Middle East. The question we have to be asking ourselves today is whether Qasem Soleimani is more dangerous to the United States alive or dead as a martyr. And you can count on ABC Action News to bring you around the clock updates on the growing tensions with Iran. The best way for you to stay up to date, just download the free ABC Action News mobile app. That way you can get those push alerts straight to your phone as soon as they come in. Today, the National Weather Service will be in Central Florida surveying the damage left behind by yesterday's severe storms. There were reports of two tornadoes passing through Lake and Volusia counties. Trees were brought down, some buildings even damaged. The city of Delan estimates that storm caused about $25,000 worth of damage. Luckily, we were spared here in the Tampa Bay area, but yesterday's rain did bring some cooler temps. McKenna King now with your latest forecast. McKenna. A big cool down today, Vanessa, and it's going to kind of stay cool until at least tomorrow morning. A big cool down coming for your Monday morning, but your beach forecast for today, kicking off the morning in the low 50s, will top out in the low 60s today. We've got a high surf and rip current risk today. Water temp at about 68 degrees. Our high temperatures, like I just mentioned, topping out in the low 60s today. 61 in Tampa, 61 in Crystal River, 63 in Sarasota, and 62 degrees in Haines City today. Some wind is going to stick around, and tomorrow morning's lows right around 42 in Apollo Beach, 37 in Crystal River, 44 degrees in Sarasota to kick off your Monday morning. Monday, we will get a bit of a warm up. 66 degrees going into Monday. Sunshine sticks around 70 going into Tuesday, and then we get another cool down on Wednesday before we get a big warm up coming for the weekend. Vanessa. All right, McKenna, thank you. And remember, you can always get news updates all day long on your favorite streaming device. And don't forget, you can download the free ABC Action News app. Have a great rest of your day.